I want to show you in this video how to do the Leyden jar skip on Amnesia Rebirth because a lot of people have been asking about this mainly for the speedrun trophy I've got a way to do this here I can't I can't quite decide if it's legit or not um, because it seems like it's a normal way the way it works it does seem sort of normal but then on the other side on the other hand it seems like it may be a bit of a glitch um, but I don't think I can take credit for finding this actually um, Riverrun on PSM profiles actually made me aware of this because he or she they did something similar and they pulled off they pulled it off but they couldn't repeat it and they gave me the idea to actually try and do it myself and I managed to find a way to repeat it and what this does it lets you keep both laden jars from the alchemist chamber and you can take it through the rest of the game and what they do they allow you to when you get to the portal chamber not far after the alch alchemist chamber you'll be able to the portal chamber it's where you find that it's where that big dome is that big dome sort of portal where you have to put the orb in you find that and normally you have to go through the the hunter grounds and the catacombs etc to get the other laden jar but if you take them both with you all you have to do you go to check you go to port chamber then you go to chamber of pillar you turn the pillars to activate the the beam you go back to the port chamber and then you can place both laden jars inside straight away well you can you only need to put one inside you put one inside and you've still got one left so you can you can go skip straight through the portal chamber which will take you to the theater and then when you get to the throne room at the end of the game you don't have to go through all the all the ending cutscenes when you go past a dome portal again at the end of the game you can just put laden jars straight in the portal and finish the game without having to go through all them end cutscenes um, so it saves quite a bit of time but yeah enough talking guys let me show you how to do it so we've got these sort of triangle power sensor things and as you can see that door over there you can't actually take it through the door because when you try it turns off and then you cannot unlock the door you, we can get very close you can get very very close to doing it I mean look you can get you can get here so you do get very close but you just can't quite get close enough to get out the door um, but what you do you come through it and you go and get the other power sensor the other triangle power triangle I don't know what I'm going to call them there's probably an actual name for them in the one of the notes somewhere but I don't know what it is uh, so you grab this second one you come over come back so normally it doesn't reach it and it's not really that helpful but if you put it here about here just so it's reasonably close to the door obviously make sure it's this side of it just make sure it's reasonably close to the door just about here and within a, probably about six feet and you need it so both these triangles are connected to each other and they're both connected to this door sensor so you need them all to be connected up and then you just move this around move it in and out of range and sometimes I wonder if it will happen first time yeah <laughs> just like that the I don't know what I don't know what happens see the power stays on because if you but if you don't put this triangle here it won't happen it has to sort of be in range I don't know what it is maybe this is set up so this I mean the lights hold a bit of power and so there's a, the door lock I know the sensor goes out but the door lock stays on so I'm not sure how it works I mean it does seem like a pretty normal thing but I don't know I don't know if this is legit or not but yeah that's how you do it guys sometimes you may have to move in and out a bit to get it working because sometimes it will deactivate like that it will completely deactivate and sometimes you have to get um, get them all lined up again and then just try and yeah I normally find it better when I move it when they're all connected and I move it out of range of the main power bit well sometimes it works yeah so it, it's a little bit finicky guys but yeah like that and I don't know <laughs> I don't know um, but you'll be able to take both laden jars out then and what happens when you take them both out you lob one one over here the most it will go um, so I know we're not finished here yet I still actually have to collect the jars 
Um, but you can do that. I'm just showing you how to do the actual skip glitch. I don't know. I, I don't know. Um, it's definitely a skip, but I don't know if it is. I don't know if it's a glitch. And then you just come around here, and this will open both doors. I think I need to move that other one a little bit. Now this one will move a bit more yet. Yeah, there we go. And yeah, and that's it, guy. Yeah, see the both. You can actually go through there now. You can go through there. I'm not going through it because normally when you do go through, the blood will start coming down on you. The sort of blood, um, the blood sort of growth will start growing around. Um, but yeah, you want to obviously make sure you go in with the orb. Yeah, so you need to obviously make sure you got the orb from here. Make sure you got two laden jars from down below. There are two laden jars just down there. And then you can escape both the laden jar guys. Like I say, you use them in the portal chamber to get through the portal chamber quicker. And then you can use one at the end of the game to get straight to the ending. Yeah, so that's it guys. That's how you use the laden jar skip in the alchemist chamber. Yeah, so I hope that helped guys. And I'll see you on another video.